Oh, here comes little Joey Joe down the street. Oh, what's happening, Joey? Yo, there's John. What is anybody seen Johnny? I don't know. I thought I seen him walking down towards the corner. No, he said the car playing ball. Oh, here he comes now. From street kids to superstars, the new kids on the block, a fairy tale story. Five years ago, they were hoping someone would notice them. Now it's hard to avoid them. They're everywhere, on videotapes, posters, t-shirts, squeeze bottles, key rings. In the last year and a half, they've generated nearly a quarter of a billion dollars in revenue. That's more than the gross national product of some small island countries. New Kids fans from 4 to 24 are screaming all the way to the checkout counter, amassing collections that range from a few trinkets to this. Three years ago, this was an average bedroom. Now it's a shrine to the New Kids, built by 16-year-old Katie Prodanis. I love it. I love it in here. I could spend all day in here. So I have exactly 1,101 pictures on my wall ceilings and in my three scrapbooks. One pillow, one pillowcase, one frame picture, one giant card, two... Marketing rock and roll stars is not a new idea. The new kids are following in some legendary footsteps. And today, the new kids are close to breaking sales records held by Michael Jackson and the Rolling Stones. What a drag it is getting old. There's a difference between the stories of most rock and rollers and the new kids, and it comes at the beginning. Once upon a time, the Beatles were young artists, writers, instrumentalists, and singers. Once upon a time, the new kids were a marketing idea. This man's idea, Maurice Starr. After a bad experience with the black group New Edition, Starr began looking for a specific group to fill a specific hole in the music market. I was, I was thinking of five young white kids doing, you know, black music, urban sound. Now, why five white kids? <laughs> because there was nothing out there like it. I mean, there was tons of five black kids out there, but to me, the younger demographics, which has been proven to be true, I mean, the young white demographic girls, didn't have anybody. The five boys who would go on to win the awards, along with the adulation and weekly allowances of their fans, had minimal experience. Most of them sang in church choirs. Joey McIntyre's family was involved in community theater. He starred in Oliver. Star's step-by-step -step strategy to success meant a lot of hard work, as Danny Wood remembers. I guess I could carry it a tune, a note, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, after a, a year or two, I started getting better and better, and we all started really progressing and becoming vocalists. So now we all can sing. Yeah. Singing talent aside, not everyone is buying what Star is selling. The ogres in this fairy tale are the critics. It's almost like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I mean, there's a shell, but what's really inside of it? You know. And in the case of the turtles, it's a bunch of guys. In the case of the new kids, it's Maurice wearing a new kid's costume, I guess. We're the new kids on the block, and we're here to stay. As many as 25 more licensed products are due to hit the stores soon. There have been so many offers that the kids have had to say no. There's everything. People want to do everything on us, and we only take the things that we feel the kids will enjoy. And and that's a good product. Mm -hmm.